Hey, welcome to Kali Center. I'm Paul Ingram. Today we're continuing our beginner staff spin tutorial lessons with our second staff spinning technique. If you missed the first spin technique, make sure to click up here in one of these corners. I forget which one it pops up in, but make sure to check out our first staff spin technique, the downward figure eight. Today we're taking a look at the second beginner staff spinning technique, our upward figure eight. If you do not have a rattan staff just like the one I'm using here and you'd like to get one, head over to my store at collicenter.com and go order one today. Got the link in the description below. You can continue your Filipino martial arts training with me also at my online school. Go ahead and sign up today over at collicenter.com. Beginner staff spin technique number two is our upward figure eight. We're gonna be starting in the right hand, grabbing the staff, gripping it in the middle of the staff. Roughly in the middle, you could be a little bit off, that's okay but you wanna be somewhere in the middle of the staff. Right hand means right leg is forward. Left hand, we're gonna keep it right here at the center of the chest, at the plexus. Back of the thumb touching the plexus. I want you to start off with your hand in this position right here, next to our hip. The palm, the thumb is kinda of down. It's in a 45 degree. This is gonna kinda of give you an idea of the angle in which the spinning technique is gonna work in. Okay, from here. We're gonna rotate it upwards in front of our body in a vertical position and then crossing it upward on the diagonal and then behind our body in a vertical position. You're gonna notice, I'm gonna stick my pinky out. You don't have to do this for training, but the pinky is going to lead the way and the thumb side of the staff is just gonna go for the ride. It's the opposite of staff spin technique number one. Okay, so start this off just by getting the motion down with the whole arm. Work it from the shoulder. And as you wanna build your speed, as you become more comfortable with the motion, you wanna start putting the rotation into the wrist, which is what's gonna allow you to pick up more speed and get it rotating a lot faster. Okay? So once again, right hand, Gripped in the middle of the staff, right leg is forward, left hand is at the plexus. We don't want it dangling out here. We don't want it to get caught on the staff or anything like that. But we also have to be ready for our intermediate staff spin that we're gonna do here in just a minute. So stick with me. So let's go ahead and get it going. Start off, all arm. A key ingredient to this one is that when the staff is to your side, when it's in front of your plexus, make sure that it's rotating on a vertical plane. And when the staff is behind you, Make sure it's rotating on a vertical plane, okay? If it starts to go diagonal, that's where you're gonna end up hitting yourself in the body or hitting yourself in the head. Again, if your left leg is forward, you won't necessarily have the clearance and you might hit yourself in the leg. So you wanna make sure your right leg is forward when the staff is in your right hand, okay? So pay attention to those few little details and just get it going right here. Pinky leads the way. Thumb side of the staff is just going for the ride. Okay, just start nice and slow like that. Doesn't have to be fast in the beginning. Practice it all week. And then you'll gradually get faster a little bit every single day. Okay, now I also want you to practice this spin in the left hand. So left hand, grip it, same way, middle of the staff. This time make sure that your left leg is forward. Okay, start off in the same position next to that left hip. Come upwards, vertical spin next to your chest. Come upwards, vertical spin behind you. Okay, and just work it out until you can get that spin in the wrist. Keep that right hand this time at the plexus in the middle of your chest. Once you have accomplished this upward figure eight spin in the right hand and in the left hand, let's pick it up to a little bit more of an intermediate skill and alternate our hands. So we're going right here, get that spin going. Just start slow. Let's just go real nice and slow so you can see it. But we're gonna get that upward figure eight spin going. And I'm going to make the switch every time this staff is behind me, okay? So when the staff comes behind me, it's gonna rotate and I'm going thumb to thumb, thumb to thumb, okay? I'm going to grab with my left hand, release with my right hand, and then I'm gonna step back with my right leg and go into my left upward figure eight spin 
And just make sure that that right hand's not getting lazy. Keep it at the plexus now. You gotta switch that. Okay, same thing. As the staff rotates behind me, insert the right hand, thumb to thumb, grip it with the right hand, release with the left hand, and as we're coming into that spin, step back with the left leg. It's just easier in the beginning to step back to make that switch. As you're getting better with the coordination of the technique, then you can start stepping forward. I find it's just easier to learn it stepping backwards. Okay, but then you can always step forward as well. As the staff comes behind me, I grab it thumb to thumb. Okay, switch the feet. Left leg forward, because it's in my left hand now. Right hand's at the plexus. Okay. As I rotate behind me, I go thumb to thumb. Switching my feet. Left hand at the plexus, right leg is forward. Spinning the staff in the right hand. Okay. So, staff spin number two, our upward figure eight. Once you have this staff spin down in both hands, and you can do the intermediate level, which is changing the grips, let me know in the comments below, or just give me a thumbs up that you got it. And that way I know you're ready for the third staff spin technique tutorial here at Collie Center. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the Collie Center YouTube channel here, and make sure to hit that bell so that way you do not miss the next spin tutorial or any of our other Filipino martial arts videos. To continue your Filipino martial arts training and journey with me, head over to KaliCenter.com, sign up to my online school. And while you're there, make sure to pick up a rattan Kali staff from our store. And I'll catch you back here next time for our next beginner staff spin tutorial.